Hey you guys, happy Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Hope you guys are staying warm because it's really, really cold out there. Uh, so I decided my, today is the perfect day to come on and do a Q&A. Um, guys, keep the questions coming because I love answering you guys' questions. If you guys could take anything from me and apply it in your life, that makes me so happy. So the first question is, how did I know I wanted to be a boss? That is a great question. Um, my journey started when I was 14 years old um, and younger. I always liked to do hair. I would play in my little sister China's hair. Um, I always knew I had a love for doing hair. And at the age of 14, I was talking to my mom. I was like, Mom, I really want to own my own salon. And my mom was like, well, you finish school. You do everything you need to do. I'll get you a salon. So it all started when I was 14, but it started to increase within me um, when I got older. So I was the girl who was never impressed um, with what guys had. Like I come from an area where back in the day you see guys pushing their beam, they beamers, their benzes. Um, I've got approached by a couple of celebrities like trying to holler and I just was never impressed like where I would see other girls my age would be so impressed with this stuff or dating a guy because he had money that should never impress me like I always had this attitude like I'm the shit like if you pulling out a black Amex card I need to be pulling out a black Amex card if you got a section in VIP I need my own section in VIP see I always wanted that boss status like it was built within me I didn't and the crazy thing is I didn't even know what it was I just knew that that shit was never good enough for me I needed to be equal if you got money I need money like there was never I was never impressed easily because I always wanted my own so it was embedded in me somehow. So with that being said, it was just really embedded in me and I didn't even know what it was. Any job I had, I knew I was miserable. Like, And I had jobs making great money. Before I started working for myself, I was working in a dental field. I went from being a dental assistant to a hygiene coordinator. Like, I was making good money. So it's not like I was getting crappy jobs, but I just was not happy. My spirit um, was not at rest. Like, I wasn't happy. Um, so that's another sign that I knew I needed to move and I needed to work for myself so what I did was I enrolled in cosmetology school because I knew me just doing hair without a license wasn't gonna get me far so I decided to go to school and I got laid off of my job while I was there and then I just turned it up and six months later I had my own business and for me um, working for myself was the best thing I've ever done it's like I dictate all my moves and I love it I love the freedom um, I love that I I love that I have say over if I'm great or not. I love that I dictate if I get a raise. Nobody's telling me, oh, you're not getting a raise this year because if Chanel want a raise, then I'll just give myself a raise. And this is why I promote, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, I promote being an entrepreneur. It's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy. This shit is hard, but it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I come up with programs like my wholesale program, um, where if you're ready to invest in your business and you're ready to purchase wholesale, purchase wholesale. I have a referral program. You can start your own business through my referral program. You get 15% off of each referral. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's so many ways to start working for yourself and boss up. If you feel within that you're not happy and you feel like you should be a boss, don't quit your day job. But start your own business on the side until your business starts to make what your day job is paying you. You work both, but it can be done. So, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much to sum it all up, how I knew I wanted to be a boss, it was kind of embedded in me from being a little girl. Um, I guess that's just what God had planned for my life because I, trust me, I had no control over which way my life would have went. As a matter of fact, I played with the hair industry. I went in and out, in and out for a long time. So it was only God. I think it was really embedded in me. It was meant for me to be a boss. And for you guys as well, if it's embedded in you, you feel it. You'll feel it in your spirit. You'll know. You just have like this uneasy feeling with everything. And until you go into what you're called to do, you'll get a peace. And that's how you know. Thank me later.